Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. I just gotta do my little speech whenever I'm in my car. Don't worry, I'm focusing on the road. If you were in the car with me, I would be talking, I would be talking to you just as I'm talking to my camera. Both hands are on the wheel and I am focused on driving mostly. I mean mostly I'm focused on driving. <laughs> But I, I am still going to talk. Um, and plus we're in a bit of a traffic jam, so it's going to take a while anyway. So I wanted to talk in this video about responsibility um, and how the world doesn't know you. So I, I was watching a video um, by Down the Rabbit Hole at Bedtime. And it wasn't just her video. There were other things that happened in my day-to-day -day life with other people I know that has made me want to have this discussion. And I'm not calling anybody out because this isn't about any one person. This is just about um, being an adult in general. Okay? Just something with certain people triggered it, but... This isn't about them. This is just about how I feel. So, once you reach adulthood, and I don't really, I, I don't think so with the young adults so much because I, I still think they kind of need, need help and guidance. But once you reach, I don't know, your 40s, your 50s, you should have at least some of your shit together. Um, I think you should have all of your shit together, but I know that that's not exactly realistic. Um, you know, there are problems that can occur and things that happen in our lives, but that's not necessarily not having one's shit together. That's just crap happens. You know what I'm saying? But I think that people, adults, like, Let's, you're mature enough to get married. You're mature enough to have children. You need to have your shit together. And the world doesn't owe you. Nobody owes you anything. I had somebody say to me one time, and this was years ago, but this person actually I know from interactions a couple days ago that this person still feels this way. She didn't have enough money for something. And she said, I don't have enough money for whatever it was and then she said and nobody will give me any and she just had this anger about her like no one will give her money like, yeah that because this is your problem it's nobody's job to give you money um so i i feel like you make your bed you feel lie in it you know what i mean and Everything has consequences. Sometimes it's good consequences. Sometimes it's bad consequences. It's, you know, all about, not to sound like Ruby Frankie, but it's all about outcomes. You know, if you do this, you're going to have good outcomes. If you do this, you're going to have bad outcomes. And sometimes things happen and you have to take care of them. But still, even if it's an inconvenience to you, nobody it's nobody else's job to help you. If other people want to help you, that's great, I think. Um, but then, when you take that help, and you take advantage of the help, you've gotten more help than you really needed. And so, that extra help you got, you kind of take advantage of it. And then, when it's time to do something else, you no longer have that help available to you because you already took advantage of it. You know what I'm trying to say? Then you ask for more help and then people are less likely to help you because they're like, I just helped you. Why am I helping you again? You're an adult. You know, and I, I get it. It's rough out there. It's hard out there. I'm, you know, and I want to point out, I am disabled. I don't bitch about it all the time, but I'm disabled. And uh, I have two jobs, and not including YouTube. And I also take care of my family, take care of the pets, take care of my day-to-day -day life. 
you know. That's why I can't do hours long live streams and things like a lot of other people seem to be able to do. Because I'm busy doing other things. And, you know, I'm just trying to keep it together because I don't want to end up in the gutter. I'm trying to plan ahead. And my plan in the head, what that looks like to me is I need financial stability. So I'm working hard now so in the future I can relax a little bit. And I definitely don't need two jobs, but again, so I can wind down later, I'm working extra hard now. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you have to decide what's more important to you. Pity or holding yourself accountable and making it happen. Because I never want anyone to pity me. You know what I mean? Never. And I, I, I can't understand other people that use that as a tool like they play on other people's emotions they play on people's kindness and sensibilities to get them to do stuff for them and it's really bothersome to me because there are really good people out there that are being taken advantage of and I see it happening and I can't really do anything about it oh shit I see it happening and I can't really do anything about it because for one, it's not my business, but I hate seeing people get taken advantage of. And um, they're very good people, and I just feel like they're being easy targets for, um, with lack of a better word, a grifter, and or grifters because it's more than one person. And I just think it's a shame. These people are not being held accountable. They're not being expected to grow up. And I, I think that at least one of these people have spent their whole life being babied and being coddled and getting anything that they want. And when something doesn't go their way, they instantly play the victim and play on people's sympathies. And that drives me crazy. All that hold up for that one little car that was just pulled over. Okay. So anyway, they they um, play on good people's sympathy and expect and expect and expect. And I hate that because nobody owes them. Nobody owes you. Right? Life is hard. Suck it up. Nobody owes you. I'm sorry that that's what life is, but that's what life is. You have to work, you have to save, and you have to pay your own way. Because it's gonna come to a point where the people that have been helping you are gonna be like, screw this, I'm not helping this person anymore. They're finally gonna see. And then they're gonna be like, I'm not helping this person anymore. And then that person is gonna be in a tight spot when they've never had to be in a tight spot before because someone always comes to their rescue. You know what I mean? Like, I've gotten help before, um, not, you know, I didn't ask for it, it was offered. But I give as good as I get. And, um, and it's family, too, you know. We have what we call the community $40. <laughs> that we just kind of pass around. We don't need to do that anymore because we're all in, in, you know, good careers and stuff. But before, like before that, like when we were in college and stuff, we had a, a community $40. We would always kind of, one person would use it and then pay it back and then someone else would use it and then pay it back. It was a thing. But anyway, that's my point. Grow up. If you're married and you have kids, it's time to suck it up and grow up, grow up. And I'm disabled and I have several multi um, I have several disabilities and I'm working two jobs. So you have time what you make time for and you can do what you convince yourself you can do. But if you're one of those people that's like, I can't, I can't, I'm disabled, I can't, I'm disabled, then you're damn right. You can't and you never will. And I just don't understand that not wanting to have some little
level of success in your life. But anyway, I'm sorry that if this sounded like a lecture, lecture, but I just wanted to get that out there. No one owes you. It's your life. Everybody else has their own life they need to worry about. And um, you need to get your shit together and pull your head out of your ass and do what you need to do to survive because there's going to come a time when people aren't going to be running to your rescue anymore. They're going to get sick of your shit if they aren't already sick of it. So that's it. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.